The right to privacy has had a lot of controversy due to the fact that it isn't a subject that is clearly stated in the Constitution, but rather a shadow of rights because of penumbras and emanations, as Justice William O. Douglas once mentioned. The right to privacy has been so questionable that it became a topic of women's rights and her decision as to whether or not she is allowed to have an abortion. Many questions arose about this topic in the late 1950s and is still a major debate with today's generation as to either make to make abortion a legal matter or not. As stated in the book by the people by James Marone and Rogan Kirsch, the right to privacy is broad enough to encompass a woman's decision whether or not to terminate a pregnancy. With this, as many as 20 cases or more challenged the state laws between 1969 and 1973, which first started in the state of Texas and also started, in the, be started the beginning of the women's rights movement. The first legislators that took the actual steps to repeal the criminalization of abortion were New York, Alaska, Hawaii, and Washington. 13 other states, on the other hand, liberalized abortion while 20 remained on the books for specific purposes and cases of abortion. For example, if the woman's life was at risk, if she was raped, if there was incest or fetal abnormality. But the first case to ever arise was due to the woman named Norma McCorvey. Norma was a 22-year-old woman who lived in Dallas County, Texas, and was pregnant with her third child in which she wanted to abort because she already gave up the custody of her other two children who she did not want to take care of. As known, abortion was not allowed during this time, so she began to challenge the law and gained the nickname of Jane Roe for privacy and also became a, norm a nominal plaintiff. Norma found herself getting nowhere when challenged by the courts because they would reject her case. So she later then found help from two other women whose names were Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, who both were attorneys. They helped fight by Norma's side and stated her case in court as to how she previously had children before this pregnancy and did not want a third child, which then later challenged the abortion ban. They went up against Dick District Attorney in Dallas, Henry Wade, but the attorney did or also did not grant them the case to receive further court action. Norma then lost her case and was not granted the um, act of abortion, so she gave birth to her third child and gave it up for adoption. Although the case never made further trial, the Roe v. Wade case was born and continued to contribute to other cases. As stated before, the act of abortion fell under the right of privacy, which the right to privacy fell under Groves World and Connecticut case that acted in 1965. As the Roe v. Wade case ended, a man named Henry Andrew Blackman, who was an American lawyer and ju jurist that served the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court in the United States from 1970 to 1994, looked at the Roe's case. He later found that the act of abortion is not ne or is not necessarily provided with the background of the Constitution, but that it mainly derives from the 14th Amendment. Abortion only acts as a string of privacy, but has a controversy because it involves taking of a life, which makes it a different case and not necessarily an act of privacy. As you can imagine, the repeal of abortion laws did not stop there. It caused many more cases to uprise, such as Planned Parenthood v. Casey and even church amends. Roe v. Wade stirred up the Supreme Court as to why abortion was needed for a woman's divine right. It caused the Supreme Court to hold or to uphold Missouri, <laughs> Missouri on abortions that were held in hospitals and why the abortions were conducted. This then later brought the controversy of Planned Parenthood. Since abortion wasn't allowed, they decided to open up clinics that could help women with contraceptions and allow and open birth control clinics. But to the courts, it was still considered a crime to even talk about contra contraceptions and even allow such a notion to take place. Two justices named um, White and Request 
took note of Planned Parenthood versus Casey and argued that birth control was an individual's right and it should be allowed, especially since it's in between two consenting adults. With this, the courts, the courts engaged a raw judicial power that stated that justices are not allowed to strike down abortion laws and the case was then dropped. By the courts outlawing abortion, it made it personal it made it a personal act against um, individual personal rights, so they had to come to somewhat of an agreement. When the Planned Parenthood um, case, or with the Planned Parenthood case, Pennsylvania challenged the Supreme Court and imposed the regulation with the first trimester of a woman's pregnancy. The court then upheld the woman's right to terminate pregnancy as a component of liberty, but the court did in fact reject the trimester framework that Rose versus Wade case imposed because they did look at the consequences for the fetus and the life. They then in fact came, uh, came to an agreement in court that um, they were not allowed to interfere with the woman's choice during her first trimester of pregnancy and also took into consideration the Harris and McCray case that gave physicians the right to um, not perform abortions if they were not comfortable or consciously ready to do so. With the past three years, arguments still occur that abortion is more of a medical burden rather than a woman seeking to abort. And this topic has even shaped the state of our politics today, such as the differences between Republicans and Democrats. Democrats are pro-choice and believe that abortion is necessary to open doors for vocation and career paths for a woman. And it also protects her health by allowing her to get proper abortion instead of black alley abortions, which could potentially kill her. On the other hand, Republicans believe that abortion is a murder of life because life starts at the uh, conception and they oppose of the road versus wade act and want to overturn it so as you can see the case of roe versus wade has made a woman's right like very controversial and it continues to be an ongoing um, argument today and will continue continue to stir up conversation controversy with the ongoing years.